Life is like a ride. As cliche as it may sound like a roller coaster, and we never know when we're going to get off, but when I do, I hope that the wait was worth it. I hope that the line was worth it. I've never been the most patient person, but I'm learning. I got issues of letting go. Like, these fingers are talons, these hands were meant to hold on, this body meant to be a lifeboat, and no matter how many titanic relationships I go through, y'all, I just can't seem to learn my lesson, and I know I'm stubborn. I don't like to listen to others. My tongue always ready to enter the boxing ring. I love just as hard as I fight, I'm a paradox. This mouth that so easily can build can wreck a whole entire human. I have mastered the most dangerous weapon in this world. Hence, while I am amongst the most deadly assassins, I am a poet, a breed created by God to show this world how beautiful and ugly it can be. We are the kaleidoscopes of society. My body is only 26 years old. If you look at my genetic makeup, it will only tell you that I've been on Earth for two decades still, y'all. People love to come up and tell me, Xavier, you have an old soul, and as cliche as it may sound, I believe it. Some mornings, I wake up and feel like I already lived the day that's ahead. I don't often pray, but I ask God each and every day for my daily bread because life just seems like one big monopoly game where money is the motive and happiness. Happiness is something you only buy for a moment. I'm a Virgo. And as cliche as it may sound, y'all, I take after every trait. I'm emotional. I'm sensitive. The meal I often crave is love. Sometimes my body feels empty. Like it don't always be packed when I be at a poetry show. I've learned that love... Love is temporary. Just like the audience, I crave things that people are not ready to give. I'm a fixer. I often attract people that don't know their full potential. Half the time, I don't know my own. I weigh 250 pounds. I'm still trying to fix myself. My skin has been through some shit. I got the acne scars to prove it. My sexuality is always questioned, but never how I feel. I heal by being honest. And this, this is my most honest poem, and you just got to witness a poet mend themselves to their craft, and every time I get behind a microphone, I check into my favorite hospital, y'all, and as cliche as it may sound, isn't that beautiful? This poem a piece of origami that I created with my lips and you just got to witness how I tuck my secrets into its folds. I'm often told that the key to happiness is honesty. And as cliche as it may sound, y'all, I believe it.